Hey everyone, welcome to this course on data manipulation on Integromat. If you're wondering what data manipulation is, it's the process of transforming data to make it easier to read or organize it in a certain way. The importance of data manipulation is to prevent data inconsistency or data loss and maintain data integrity. The first lesson covers the introduction and fundamentals of functions and shows you how you can manipulate data with ease using the various types of inbuilt functions on Integromat. You don't really need a programming background to understand how functions work. Integromat functions are in fact a lot like those found on Microsoft Excel, giving them a rather universal appeal. Even if you're an Excel noob, using functions in your scenarios is quite straightforward. Let's first go through the various types of functions and then cover a few use cases. As you might know, you can see functions inside any module on Integromat. So let's use the set variable module to go over the different functions. So there are general functions like if and if empty. If you hover over any of the functions, you will see a description and examples that are self-explanatory. You can see here that if empty returns the first value if it is not empty, else returns the second value. So in this expression, if element A contains a value, the result will be the value of A, else it'll be the value of B. Moving on to math functions that allow you to manipulate numbers, the most common functions are seal, floor, and round, and each contains multiple easy-to-understand examples. Text and binary functions, also known as string functions, let you modify a particular text using functions like replace, substring, and split. You can also easily remove HTML tags and a text using strip HTML. And then there are the encoding and hashing functions commonly used in programming for encryption purposes. Date and time functions are commonly used in scenarios to parse, format, or manipulate elements containing dates and times. The variables here return the current date, time, or the Unix timestamp when the scenario execution takes place. Lastly, array functions allow you to extract data from or modify arrays. Without further ado, let's jump into the use cases to give you a better picture of when and how to use some of the most common functions. In the first use case, new emails are retrieved, and the date, sender, and subject of the emails are added to a Google Sheet. I will then show you how the data on the sheet can be manipulated using a simple function. So let's open the Gmail Watch Emails module. Add or select an existing connection. Under Folder, select Inbox. And under Criteria, select Only Unread Emails. The emails will also be marked as read once fetched. Let's set the maximum number of results to 5. Now open the Google Sheets Add a Row module. After you add the connection, select the spreadsheet and the sheet that the data will be added to. Next, simply map the date, sender's email address, and the subject elements outputted by the Gmail module to the corresponding fields. So let's first save the scenario. Next, choose where to start and select all. Then click run once to execute the scenario. The scenario executed successfully. The Gmail module retrieved two emails corresponding to the two bundles of data and were added to the sheet. Let's check the sheet. So the data was added correctly, but as you can see, the date also contains the time and is not in my preferred format. So let's go back to the date field in the Google Sheets module. To format the date, let's use the format date function found under the date and time tab here. I'll move the date element within the brackets and enter the preferred format after the semicolon. Now let's execute the scenario again. Okay. Here you can see that the date has now changed to the preferred format. And that's how you can use the format date function. Easy, right? Now let's try using the if function in a scenario. In this case, a person enters a competition by submitting a Google form. The form contains fields for name, email, and a multiple choice question. The correct answer for the question is Al Pacino. Under responses, click on the icon to create the Google Sheet that will store the responses from the form. The sheet used in this example has already been created with the required fields. Let's take a look at this scenario. Here you see the Google Sheets Watch Rows module. Again, add or select a connection and select the spreadsheet and the sheet that contains the responses. Let's leave the limit set at two. Next is the Google Sheets update a row module. Select the same spreadsheet and sheet that you selected in the preceding module. 
Here, under row number, map the row number element outputted by the watch rows module. Under values, map the date, name, email, and the question elements to the corresponding fields. Okay, let's take a look at the win-lose field. If a person chooses the correct answer, win must be added to the win-lose field, and for any other choice, lose must be added. Let me show you how to do this. Under general functions, let's select the if function. Now let's map the question element and select the equals to operator. Then enter the correct answer, Al Pacino. After the first semicolon, enter win, and after the second semicolon, enter lose. So in this expression, if the answer is Al Pacino, the result is win. If not, the result is lose. Now let's submit the competition form twice. Once the correct answer and the other with the wrong answer. So let's execute the scenario. All right, the scenario executed successfully. Here you see that two bundles of data were retrieved and added to the sheet. On the sheet, you can see the details of the entries and win was added to the correct answer and lose to the other as intended. And that concludes this lesson. Here's a quick recap. Data manipulation is a process of transforming data for easier reading or to organize it in a certain way and is important in the prevention of data inconsistency, data loss, and assists in the maintenance of data integrity. Inbuilt functions on Integromat are similar to those on Microsoft Excel and can be used on any module. The main categories of functions are general, maths, text, and binary. Date and time and functions for working with arrays. That concludes the lesson on the introduction and fundamentals of functions. In the next lesson, you will learn more about advanced functions and how to implement them effectively in a scenario. See you in the next lesson.